Hello and welcome to Unexplained Possibilities in Case You Missed It for October 2017. I'm Melvin the Crimson Taurus and let's jump right into it. Unexplained Possibilities had somewhat of a busy month. Firstly, we had two podcasts. The first one was with Creepy Pasta narrators Pink Spooky and Creepy Blonde Girl. We dove into what a creepy pasta is, as well as some of Pink Spooky and Creepy Blonde Girl's paranormal experiences. The show was a lot of fun, and I hope everyone checks it out. The second podcast was with Niema and myself, and it was a type of origin story of how unexplained possibilities came to be. The story itself spans about six or seven years and it was fun going down memory lane. So if you're curious as to how we came up with the name Unexplained Possibilities, how Rose, Niema, and I met, and just how everything started, be sure to give it a listen. On that same podcast, Niema and I also announced that we will be giving away a $25 Amazon gift card. That's mostly as thanks for getting us to 100 subscribers, but that is going to be the first of many giveaways to come. So more details on that will come in November. Also in the month of October, we uploaded two Halloween theme type lists. Admittedly, it was originally planned for three Halloween theme videos, but sadly the third one was corrupted. The third video, had it gone up, would have been about the origins of Halloween and other similar holidays. Now that's not to say I won't redo it and put it up in the future, it's just right now. It's in La La Land. So the first video that's Halloween theme is 10 Black Eyed Children Encounter Stories. While we in Unexplained Possibilities cannot confirm nor deny how factual some of the stories are, they're more than real enough to send a chill down your spine. The second video are movies to watch on Halloween. That was a fun one to make, and it has something for everyone, from kid-friendly to psycho killing. So if you're alone on Halloween night and you're itching for something spooky, check out our list, pick one, and enjoy. Links to the videos I mentioned can be found in the description box below. For events outside of unexplained possibilities, well, it wasn't too many that interested me. However, there is one event that did catch my interest, and I'm going to share it with you right now. October 26, 2017, the JFK files were released thanks to a 1992 law that required them to be publicly disclosed. Now, there is a lot of conspiracy surrounding the assassination of Kennedy, and many conspiracy theorists had hoped to find some answers in these newly released files. That doesn't look to be the case, but information has been revealed. Here are a few takeaways from the files. The CIA wanted to hire the mob to kill Castro. Yes, let me repeat that. The CIA wanted to hire the mob to kill Castro. It sounds like something from a movie, but the CIA wanted to approach Sicilian mobster Mooney Sam, pay him $150,000, and get him to give Castro a cement vacation. Apparently, this did not go through, but the fact that they were open to the idea says a lot about the CIA. Most people in the U.S. know who Lee Harvey Oswald is. For those of you outside of the U.S., he is the person who assassinated President John F. Kennedy. What do you do with the person who killed the President of the United States? Well, you put him on trial and 
and you have a jury of his peers either find him guilty or not guilty, right? Well, that's not quite the case here. The FBI claims to have received a call from someone saying they were going to kill Lee Harvey Oswald. Not only did the FBI receive a call, but just a day later, Jack Ruby would end up killing Lee Harvey Oswald. The person who called the FBI said that they were part of a Kill Oswald committee, but Jack Ruby claims he worked alone and spoke to no one about it. Is this another conspiracy in the works? Something else that came out of the JFK files, which some may find it hard to believe, but apparently there was a Cuban intelligence officer who claimed to have known Lee Harvey Oswald. And not only did he know him, he praised the shot that he took saying it was a heck of a shot and that, and that he knows Oswald and he knew he could pull off that type of shot. Are you telling me the Cubans possibly had a hand in killing John F. Kennedy? Or is this yet again another conspiracy? And finally, one of the most surprising things to come out of the JFK files is that Lee Harvey Oswald contacted the Russians after killing John F. Kennedy. According to a CIA memo from the day of Kennedy's assassination outlined a CIA intercept of a call from Oswald then in Mexico City to the Russian embassy in Mexico. Oswald spoke to the consul and you know, you guys know how I am with names. I'm about to butcher this right now. So brace yourselves. Valery Vladimir Volkovich Kostikov. <laughs> totally butchered. <laughs> Kostikov was an identified KGB officer. Allegedly, Oswald and Kostikov spoke to each other in broken Russian. The memo's author said he was told by the FBI liaison's officer that the Bureau believed Oswald's visit was to get help with a passport or visa. And that concludes, in case you missed it, for October 2017. Don't forget to follow Unexplained Possibilities on Facebook and Twitter and be sure to catch us in November. That's when the $25 Amazon gift card giveaway starts. So if you want a chance to win, you'll have to subscribe and follow to learn all the details. Thanks again for checking out Unexplained Possibilities and we'll be seeing you in November.